Salut mes amis! So this week we are doing something that actually I think you're going to do pretty well with. Um, we're going to be talking about regular and irregular RE verbs. So we have conjugated different verb forms in the past and so it's just like that. We're going to be looking at patterns um, and looking at the endings of these different um, verbs according to the subject that they have, right? So you've done that with ER verbs, you've done this with IR verbs, same idea, um, but we're going to be doing it with RE verbs. So for our RE verbs, I have the first verb I have is attendre, which means to wait or to wait for. Honestly, in my mind, whenever I conjugate and whenever I translate, I do think of it meaning to wait for. Um, I think that helps out with some of the translations. Um, so anyhow, we're going to take off the RE, just like for ER verbs, you took off the ER at the end. This time we're taking off the RE at the end. And then depending on your subject, it's going to have different endings, okay? So for je, or in this case, je apostrophe, it's going to end in an S. So you take off the RE, you're left with A, T, T, E, N, D, R, and then you just put the S in the end. So je tendre. We have two attendre, same idea. Je and the tu form will be the exact same for the regular RE verbs. Then il and elle attendre. Um, that's going to have no ending. So you're going to just keep the A-T-T-E-N-D-E-N-D. -E okay, so there's nothing you're going to need to add to the end of that. And then the nice thing, the thing that I always loved about the regular RE verbs is that the new vu il and l form are all going to be just like your er verbs so they're going to end in ons or z and ent okay so those will all be the same as what we've had before so we have je tend, tu attend il attend elle attend on attend nous attendons vous attendez ils attendent elles attendent so example is ils attendent claire okay um, they wait for claire right so these are regular RE verbs. There's a whole list of regular RE verbs in this lesson, in this the book. Um, we're on page 206 to 207. It's section 6B.2. Um, when you go into your VHL, you'll have your grammar tutorial. You also have your book links on there as well to look. So make sure you, you look at all the regular RE verbs um, and what they mean. I'm not going to put them all in this presentation. Otherwise, it'd get a little bit too long for you. The past participle of regular RE verbs is easy to do as well, right? So what we used to have for ER verbs is we took off the ER and we put a E accent aigu, right? So we're going to do the same kind of idea, except for this time we're going to drop the RE and we're going to add a U. So that will be the ending for the past participle. So I wrote, Madame Claus a répondu à votre email. Okay. Um, uh, Mrs. Kloss responded to your email. Okay, right? Whenever we are talking about the past, we're conjugating avoir, right? And then we have our past participle. So in this case, it's répondu. So the ending will just be a U, take off the RE, end with a U. That'll be the same for all your regular RE verbs. Here's now some of our irregular RE verbs. So on this one, we have conduire, which means to drive, okay? Same thing, well, we, will, we will take off the RE, okay? Now here's where it gets a little different. These are irregular, which means they're not gonna follow the same regular RE pattern that we just looked at, which most RE verbs do. These are the irregular RE verbs. So in this case, we take off the RE. This one's gonna end in an S, so je conduis. Tu conduis, this one also ends in an S. Il conduit, elle conduit, again, they end in an S, or sorry, they end in a T in this case. Now here's where I got ahead of myself a little bit. So on this side, for the new vu, il, elle pleure, um, when we look at that, they are still going to have that same ending you're very familiar with for that part, the ONS, the O, Z, and the T, except for these irregular RE verbs, there's going to be an S in front of it. So we take off the RE, um, and you're going to have S, O, N, S will be our ending there an S-E-Z, an S-E-N-T, okay? So, nous conduisons, vous conduisez, ils conduisent, elles conduisent, okay? So, this is all for irregular RE verbs 
as that's one of them is conduir. Now, the nice thing is there are some other verbs that are irregular R E verbs that follow the same pattern. So even though it's irregular, there are other verbs that are going to have the exact same pattern. So um, here are some of the ones that will follow the exact same pattern as we just did for conduire. Same idea, you take off the RE at the end, and then depending on your subject, you're going to have to put something on the end of it, correct? So um, if I was going to do il or elle for construire, right, um, I could take off the RE and I would put a T there, right? So it just depends on what your subject is, but they will follow the same pattern of S, S, T, S, O, N, S, S, E, Z, S-E-N-T. Okay, so all of these ones are all very similar. And if you look at them closely, you'll see probably why they're similar, right? Is that they end in a U-I-R-E. And these guys all end in U-I-R-E, 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 right? So that's why they are kind of part of that same group of irregular R-E verbs that follow the same pattern as conduire. The past participle for conduire is conduit. Okay, it's actually their past participle will be the same as their il, elle form. Okay, so you're taking off the re and you're going to put a t in the end. Same thing for all of these past participles. You would just take off your re and you're going to put a t, right? So it'll just be the actual same form as this il and l if that helps you. Another irregular re verb is mettre. Okay, mettre is to put or to put on. So for mettre, it's a little different as far as what we're taking off. Now we do take off the RE just like normal, right? Um, what I did want to point out is that this column here, your single column, your je, your tu, your il, elle, on, they are not just going to take off the RE, they actually take off the T that's in front of it too. Okay, which is definitely different than what we have been doing with all of our other verbs. So it's going to be je met, tu met, il, elle met. Okay, so we're going to be taking off not just this re, but the t here. So there will only actually be one t on all of those, right? So ts, ts, and t. On the new vu, il, elle, the, the plural side, um, it's going to be just like normal ER verbs. You take off the, e, the RE and you put ONS, EZ, ENTE. Okay, so that side should be very familiar with you. That follows the same exact pattern as the regular RE verbs. It follows the same pattern from the same side of the regular ER verbs. So that is a pattern that um, at this point you should be getting pretty familiar with. The past participle for maître is me. Okay, so be careful. It is, looks completely different. I know that um, it's one of those things you're going to kind of have to just memorize. Um, there's no way to say take off this and put this on, right? Just M-I-S. Um, there's a few other ones that follow the same pattern. And when you look closely, they actually have mettre in them. We have peut mettre, promettre, okay? So they actually have the word mettre, okay, in them. So that's why they're going to follow the same pattern is they, they basically have the same word in there with just the p and the pl in front of it. Okay, so they will follow this exact same pattern of the endings. Last but not least, we have rire. Okay, rire means to laugh. Um, and this one, I take off the re. And that's going to be kind of a pattern you've seen in some of these other irregulars, where it's going to be s, s, t. And then again, the o, n, s, the EZ and the ENT, right? So, je ris, tu ris, il ris, elle ris, nous rions, vous riez, il ris, elle ris, right? Past participle this time is actually just ri. No RE on the end of it. You just take off the RE and you leave it as ri, R I, just all by itself. Um, the, the verb to smile, so rire, it also follows the same pattern. And again, rire is in there that word as well. That's why it's following that same irregular pattern. So as you look through these, I'm definitely going to say that you're going to want to make sure that you don't just watch the grammar tutorial. Make sure you take notes from Monsieur Uf as you're watching him. Pause him, rewind him, go back, rewatch re as you need to. Um, look in your book. Please do not just 
assume that everything I talked about here is all that you are going to have for this section because they do have the list of the regular RE verbs. I want to make sure you know all those verbs. I'm just not going to list them all off here. Okay, so you've got to use your online book. Um, when you're doing your assignments, you can see that on the very top of your assignment, right by the directions, right by the example, they do have a link there that will let you look back through the book at that section um, and also back at the grammar tutorial if you need to. Okay, um, when you're watching me go through this, okay, we'll have your notes out that you took from the grammar tutorial and add to them anything that maybe you forgot to put down as you were watching. Um, or if there's something that I explained maybe different than they did, um, and you find this more helpful, then please write that down too, right? Um, we're all in this together. I want to make sure that if you have questions, you please um, go ahead and ask me. Don't be afraid to ask. A lot of you um, are really good about asking questions when you're stuck on something, and I appreciate that. So just email me, um, message me on Google Classroom, or text me on Remind, and we will figure it out together. Um, so you will have another section of homework this week. Again, it's assigned on Friday. It's due the next Friday. Um, do your best on it, please. Don't just do it to get through with it. Um, when I've seen people maybe getting a lower percentage, like a 30% or a 40% or even 50 or 60%, I can see what answers you're putting on there. Um, and I'm trying my best to go back through and answer or help you with whatever mistakes I see you making and then asking you to do that part of the assignment again. So please don't think just because you've turned it in, you're done. Um, it's a learning activity, right? So if you're having mistakes, I want you to be able to learn from those mistakes. Mistakes are awesome, but they are part of our learning. So we need to make sure that we don't just stay there. We, we grow from them. All right. Let me know if you have any questions. Merci beaucoup, mes amis.